up the bench and what's this? That's not a straight razor. Let me move the penguins. Put them over here so they can watch from the sidelines. All right. No, that's a safety razor, right? Occasionally I use one and I just got this one. But it's not about this razor. This happens to be a not-so-common vintage Gillette made in USA. It's a um, deluxe style, but it's a big fellow, so it has a longer handle, and it's one of these types where this part comes out, and then you have these, right, cap with the stem. I don't know what the hell you want to call it. And uh, this one's a little beat up, but it's in decent condition, and, you know, it makes for a decent razor, and it shaves pretty well. Anyway, so sometimes if I go away, I'll take a DE with me. This is how I travel with my blades, right? Now, I could just throw one of these in the kit, but this is like cheap plastic crap. Yeah, these are Dorcos, okay? I know people don't like Dorcos. I shave fine with them, so they're cheap, they work, and for the amount of times that I use one, investing in more expensive blades doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for me. But I like to use this. This is a vintage thing. This is how they used to come. Used to go into a drugstore and ask for blades, and this is what you got. This nice little blister pack, or maybe it was hanging on a peg or whatever. It's a 15 pack. And kind of neat. So I, I like old stuff. So I got this thing. And, you know, I like to use it. So this is, you know, they dispense like this, right? They, they come out. Whoops, it's empty. And that's what this is all about uh, it has a nice little blade trap in the back so if i'm away my blades in there and then i can get them at another time but you can reuse these and not a lot of people know that and not a lot of people know how to do it and there's that so basically what you got to do is you got to get some blades out And that holds 15. So, you know, all wrapped, and you, know, you have to be careful. I'm going to try and do this without bleeding. <laughs> so, here's your blade. And unlike the originals, the originals had uh, little arrows, and they had them stacked in here, so the arrows pointed in the direction you had to push. So, you don't get that with the modern blade. But we can live, right? With this, we don't need to have that in our face. So anyway, what you do is you just basically pry this open. All right? There's a lip. There's a lip here and... The other side has the same arrangement, right? And you have to finagle it a little bit because it's wanna gonna wanna clip back in on the other side. Careful. So there you have it. This back panel is just held in place by this. So these little ears, right? clip into these channels. Not rocket science. I don't need to put 15 in here all the time. I will literally use 15 of these blades in like... <laughs> my wife borrows them, so it could be like years. <laughs> I literally use them once and then throw them away. Because after I use it, I'm not going to be using it for a very long time. If I'm away, then there's that. Okay, so you see how I put that in there, right? That one goes on the other side. Peace. Okay, come on. And you come back here to this side. I just got this feeling I'm going to cut myself on one of these blades on camera. I'm going to be embarrassed. Just got to make sure that the tabs 
are in. But I like shaving stuff, and I like old Gillettes, and I like these big old deluxe style razors with the uh, the flat bottom on the head with the open comb. I have, where is it? It's around here. Here it is. Just a, I have another deluxe here. But this is, what do they call this, a bar handle? I, I don't know. The collectible shit I don't get into. Um, I just know that I like the head, but this is like your standard arrangement, right? Okay, so I got 15 in it. Theoretically, this will close up correctly. So sorry, I was off camera there for a minute. So you got your blades in, right? Just want to hold them in place. You want to put the backing piece on. And you take this. And you just slide it over the top. That first one has to come out. Want the next one? Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think these things are really cool. They're a lot of fun. They're kind of neat, old school. And whenever I pull this out to get a blade, yeah, I know it kind of just feels right. You know, it feels a lot better than these plastic things. So, if there was a way for me to buy these blades without getting them in this plastic, I would probably do it. I used to get feathers like that from. Uh, Marvy. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. That's all this was. Wasn't going to be like a long production. It was just a quick hit. And so that's that. So listen, remember, just like honing and everything else, oh, you're wondering about like what's going on with straights. Well, I just got this one, right? Very nice. 15 sixteenths. Uh, George Butler. Very nice blade. Very nice. Um, uh, Great steel. Took like a crazy edge to full hollow. That might make it into a video. Actually, I got this to do videos, to do honing videos instead of using um, gold dollars because I have thrown a couple of them away at this point. I'm tired of that crap. But I like this a lot, so I may just like run with a really dope edge and get another blade to put on camera. And for that purpose, what I have on the side here is this nice Tori, which is a 6.8, but it's a half hollow. So that's kind of cool too. So those are both new. And like then there's this, which is a beautiful 8.8 soul engine. You know, really nice piece. Really, really nice. So that's up and coming new stuff for me. This, this DE stuff is like a sidebar attraction to me, but it's still, I'm very serious about it. I like it. I just, you know, this is not my regular, my regular is straights. But I figured this little thing would be uh, helpful to some people. Anyway, this stuff, like the straights, is all about having fun. So get out there, have some great shaves, and definitely have some fun. Okay, take care. Talk to you soon.